Hello everyone and welcome back to Shanahan Militaria. In today's video what we're covering is this item and what this is, this is the Cromwell helmet or what is known as the Cromwell helmet. It is a riot helmet that was used in Op Banner or Northern Ireland Troubles. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the table and we're going to have a quick look at it and an uh, in-depth talk about it. So now that we have the helmet here on the table what we are looking at is the Cromwell helmet. There was one helmet prior to this um, which had a very very brief history but this one then uh, came into the late 70s all the way up until the Mark 6 uh, came in with the riot uh, capacity. So what this actually is was this was brought in because of the Mark 4s um, the way they were hastily converted into riot protection. They were very top heavy when they had the visors on them the soldiers found them very uncomfortable to wear. So the British Army went looking and they came up with this idea. Um, as I said, there was one prior to this uh, with a very short history and then this one came out in the late 70s. Now what this actually is, it's a motorbike helmet or a motorcycle helmet that they converted by fitting a, a, a visor to it um, of Perspex. So that's what it is. It gives protection to the ears, um, gives protection to the lower neck compared to the Mark IV. Uh, did cut back on the hearing for for soldiers, so they would wear it in riot um, instance. But you do see them occasionally on period photographs. I believe I have one, whereas you see guys just out on regular patrols um, with them on. So if I do come across that photograph, I will put it into the video. I'll insert it here. So as you see, the, um, the visor is, it's, there is enough friction there to keep the visor actually up. Uh, now on my one, which is quite interesting, it, was, it has been issued. So there's a name there, I think that's Carol. C-A-R-I-E-L-L, -L, I'm not sure. Um, there's also a Dixon here. And then there's a Dixon on the other side. So that's at least two soldiers that it's been hands it's been gone through. So one second now I'm just going to take it out of the mannequin's head or off the mannequin's head, and I'll show you the inside of it. Now this one actually came with its chin cup, which uh, thankfully, but you can get reproduction of them, which is this bit here. You can get them reproductions of them. Uh, now, so we'll just take the mannequin's head out. And move it to one side. So here on the inside you can actually see the label. This has a very good label on it. So let's try and get let's see if I can focus in on it. Get a bit of light in there. There you go. See so there's the label. Now let's see if I can focus in on it. Yep. Focus. There we go. So as you see, this was issued in 1981. It's got the um the uh, arrowhead right there for the um, British proof mark 1981 helmet ART uh, lot, lot, lot number who made it size it's 56 centimeters there's another name there that it was issued to but if I just show you here on the side as well uh, there you go 56 to 57 and there's a better look at that name Dixon. So let's put her back on the table there a second. I'll put the visor down and we'll zoom out. Now, oh, so there you have it. The uh, Cromwell helmet, Riot helmet, si simple enough design. Um, you see them popping up from time to time. Um, I have a gentleman actually that emailed me. I, I haven't forgotten you about the measurements to see. He has the actual helmet that he's trying to get a visor made for a uh, reproduction visor. So as I said, if you like what we provide here at Shanahan Militaria, please like, please subscribe, please tune in for the next video, and as always, the if you want to get in contact with the channel, the email will be at the top of the video description. Thank you.